Hi everyone, welcome again. So this is the fourth session of the series, Tricks and Jugards. All right, let's move on. So again, uh, this is my brief introduction, correct? Moving on, again the big announcement. Tomorrow we'll be starting with the Unacademy Cat Mega Boot Camp, right? 12 hours. Uh, on 14th and 12 hours on 15th so 24 hours marathon session a must attend for every person correct so stay tuned from uh, 3 p.m to 3 a.m on 14th and 12 a.m 12 p.m noon to 12 night on 15th correct okay so all the concepts of quant teller da and varc will be covered here with good questions okay so in a way you will also be having a revision session you can say correct so all the concepts will be revised with good quality questions correct so all the top educators will be teaching you okay and obviously on 16th on sunday correct we have a mega aimt all india mock test correct okay so uh, there are lots of uh, prizes in the uh, test correct uh, we'll be having very good quality questions at QA, VRC and LRDI. So I am an academic head of an academy, correct. So I am responsible for all the questions, correct, uh, of any mock. So I specifically designed this for a very good test, as a very good test, correct. Okay, so, definitely. Now moving on to the questions, we'll be doing three questions today, one of geometry, one of arithmetic and one of algebra. Okay, so we'll be, we'll see that what other tricks can be involved in this. Okay, all the questions are from last two years, CAT 2021 and 2020. Okay, so pause the video, try this out and come back again. All right, let's start. The sum of the parameters of an equilateral triangle and this rectangle is 90 centimeter. So there is an equilateral triangle and there is a rectangle. I'll try to explain in both language. Some of you are comfortable with English and some are with the mixed language, correct? Dono me start karenge. Now parameters, sum of parameter is 90 and area T of the triangle and area R of the rectangle gives a relation R is equal to T square. Let's say, also it is given that sides of the rectangle are in the ratio 1 is to 3. So let's say this is X, this will be 3X. Let's say the side of triangle is A. Okay. So sum of parameter means what? 3 into A, that is a parameter of triangle plus twice of L plus B will be 4X into 2, that is 8X. Try to do as mental calculation as you can do, correct? That is given as uh, 90, that is equation 1. Also, R is equal to T square. So, re, uh, rectangle, area of rectangle will be uh, 3X into X is equal to, area of triangle will be root 3 by 4 A square whole square. So basically is equal to 3x square is equal to 3 by 16 into a raised to the power 4, 3, 3, 3 cancel. a4 is equal to 16x square or a square is equal to 4x. Till now we need to solve, correct? No jugars so far, correct? But now, see, even if after doing half a question, you can look at the options and uh, some uh, shortcuts can be applied using that. Okay, that also save your time, correct? Okay, unlike the previous questions we have done. <laughs> okay, now think, uh, we need to find a longer side of rectangle. So basically, we need to find 3x, correct? So first point is, it should be a multiple of 3, but all the options are multiple of 3, so that does not give me any criteria, correct? Now, look, look at this. If 4x is equal, is an is equal to a square. So a square is a perfect square, correct? So 4x should also be perfect square in which 4 is already a perfect square. You know, I'll explain in the 
ए स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू फोर एक्स है सो so अगर ए स्क्वायर परफेक्ट स्क्वायर है आपके पास फोर एक्स को भी परफेक्ट स्क्वायर होना पड़ेगा फोर ऑलरेडी परफेक्ट स्क्वायर है तो एक्स को भी परफेक्ट स्क्वायर होना पड़ेगा सो माई आंसर शुड बी थ्री इंटू अ परफेक्ट स्क्वायर लुक एट द ऑप्शन नाउ दिस इज थ्री इंटू नाइन थ्री इंटू परफेक्ट स्क्वायर कुड बी माई आंसर दिस इज थ्री इंटू सेवन रूल्ड आउट थ्री इंटू एट रूल्ड आउट थ्री इंटू सिक्स रूल्ड आउट द ओनली ऑप्शन लेफ्ट इज ए करेक्ट वी डेफिनेटली सेव टाइम ऑफ सॉल्विंग दीज टू इक्वेश and making it quadratic and uh, then solving correct all right so i hope you get the idea chali let's move to the next question okay so it's a profit and loss question uh the idea or the short trick here is actually concept based okay anil buys 12 toys and label each with the same selling price he sell eight toys initially at 20% discount on the label price then he sells the remaining four toys at an additional 25% discount on the discounted price thus he get a total of 2112 and makes a 10% profit with no discounts his percentage profit would have been okay try this out okay let's start now my idea of giving this question to you that how can such questions can be solved in single equation with the minimum number of steps that also saves your time correct it's not always jugad okay not solve not always is putting the value of n think uh, need to think logically also correct chali so we have 12 toys okay with some selling price each toys at a discount of uh, 20% so if you know the concept of multiplying factor okay i'm i'm focusing on that so eight toys with the marked price as let's say m are given 20% discount so after 20% discount multiplying factor will be what 0.8 or i can say simply 4 by 5 plus okay this will be selling price remaining 4 with the mark price m are given additional 25% discount so 4 by 5 and 25% discount more that is 1 by 4 discount so it will be 3 by 4 okay this is your complete selling price and overall on 12 items i am getting 10% profit so if i talk about overall okay 12 items suppose their cp was cp only so selling price will be what this into 1.1 or 11 by 10 so this is your selling price this is also your selling price can i say this is equal to this i repeat m is the mark price cp is the cost price so for eight items mark price is 8m discount is 1 by 5 so it gives you selling price is 4 by 5 remaining four items mark price 4m Discount of twenty percent that gives you four by five, and further discount of three twenty five percent gives you three by four. This should be equal to total selling price. If I assume that cost price was CP, so twelve into CP should, into one point one or eleven by ten should gives you selling price. So see all the equations, uh, all the information we have put in a single equation, and we are not using this. This is completely useless for this question. Okay, we do not need this. All right, now so let's solve it. It will be third m will be common thirty two by five plus this will be twelve uh, by five is equal to twelve cp into eleven by ten. So m here and cp will be here will be equal to what twelve into eleven by ten into uh, this will give you. Uh, Forty-four by five. So when you cross multiply, it will be five by forty-four. Just solve it. That gives you three by two. That's it. So your mark price and cost price are in the ratio three is to two. Okay. So if cost price would have been uh, two. 
mark price would have been three only the question was with no discount his profit percent would have been so if no discount is there my cost price is this mark price is this and this will be your selling price on also because there is no discount so obviously we have a profit of one over two that is 50 percent correct cost price mark price which is equal to setting price only so the idea of giving you this question is can we solve a question with the minimum calculation just calculate the things in mind and write as uh, less as possible correct moving on third question very easy algebra inequality last uh, i think it is cat 2020 correct <clears throat> now these kind of questions i mean rarely appear but can be there so if it is there do not try to solve it uh, logically and all just eliminate the options okay fx is equal to this will be negative if and only if the simplest thing how we can eliminate the options just simply put x equal to 0 okay if you put x equal to 0 it will give you minus 15 over minus 18 which is nothing but positive so 0 should not be my answer look at the options in the first option 0 is not there in the second option we have 0 in this range so this is ruled out uh, in third option also we have zero in this range this is also ruled out so my answer is either a or d and if you see at a and d three and nine are already there so we need not to check this first says between minus five and minus two second says less than minus five take any value which is in one of the option is there and but not in the other option so let's check for this okay if i take any value between minus five and minus two that let's say x equal to minus three and put it here if it satisfies answer will be a if it does not satisfy answer will be d so just put x equal to minus 3 it will be 9 minus 6 minus 15 over 9 plus 21 minus 18 Clearly, numerator is negative, denominator is positive, so answer will be negative. I also want the uh, answer is negative, correct? So, minus 3 should be in my range. That means this should be my answer, this is not. Many questions of inequality uh, which involves such kind of logic, you can solve it, eliminating the options. Correct? Alright then, thank you very much. We have done, uh, done three questions in this video. Uh, we'll see you again in the next video with three more questions. All right. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.